Alright, so let's start with this room tour and we're going to start with this sort of area over here. So this is my workspace or my sort of desk area and this is mainly where I study or play or whatever I do on a computer. So as you can see, I chose a sort of black and white theme because I kind of wanted to, you know, look kind of masculine in a way because I didn't want to put all white and all that. So yeah, there's that. For the desk that I'm using, I'm using an IKEA Le Captain desk. This is a very, very good desk, the best desk that I've ever bought in my life. It has a very big uh, surface area, has drawers on each side. Uh, you have to build it yourself, but it's very easy if you just follow the instructions. And as you can see, I traded out my office chair because it was really, really old for this really cute uh, chair. Uh, I'm planning to get a new office chair soon because I really like chairs on wheels, but this will do for now. It kind of matches the aesthetic as well. And here is my main sort of work area or play area. So that's my main computer, which is powering everything. This is the Legion Lenovo 5, Lenovo Legion 5 rather. And this is the Xiaomi Mi monitor. This is a 2K resolution monitor, as well as two speakers. These are the Edifier uh, monitor speakers with IKEA plants on either side. We have uh, for the keyboard, Keychron. I forgot the model, but this is from Keychron. Very nice, I love the sound. Very nice sound. If you wanna see my wallpaper, this is my wallpaper for my laptop. Pretty nice, pretty uh, high resolution. As for the mouse, this is the Logitech Pro Superlight. Um, it's in white. And here is the microphone stand, this is from Full Aim. And this is the microphone that I use, which is the Audio Technica 802020. So I actually had an old microphone stand, but Full Aim sent me this and it's really nice. And quite coincidentally, they're sponsoring this segment of this video. Coincidentally, Full Aim sent me this microphone stand for me to promote. So this segment of the video is sponsored by Full Aim. If you guys seen my old videos, you probably noticed in the background of my videos or most of my videos that I'm pretty much using a very, very old microphone stand. Now, thankfully, Full Aim was kind enough to send me one of their mic stands for me to try. This is their Full Aim 36, which is a flexible mic stand that's made of high-strength aluminum alloys that can hold up to 1.5 kilograms. Equipped with adapters for any microphone on the market, this microphone stand has somewhat a sleek design. I started using their microphone stand for my mic because of how clean it looks like. Honestly, just look at it. It looks really, really clean. They also included velcro straps, five of them to be exact, for you to be able to tidy up the microphone wire for the stand. Anywho, if you're interested, head on over to the description below if you're interested in this microphone. Using the link below will help me as a channel and perhaps maybe you really want this microphone stand as well. Anyway, sell out note out, back to the video. Alright, moving on we have is this right side and this is pretty much where I sort of write or just do whatever on my on my desk. Here's a succulent plant that's a jade plant over here. I I just transferred it to some soil. Um here's a Divum Didu. Okay, so this is mainly a speaker, but you could also do some cool things like play games or just uh let it show some kind of pixel art or whatever so yeah that's my divum dido speaker uh it's a bluetooth speaker from divum and i also have this ice bear trash can i don't really use it as a trash can anymore i mainly use this for storing tissue but i don't have tissue right now so yeah because the reason why i don't use that as a trash can is because i actually have a trash can down here this is from shopee it's a very clean sort of trash can i don't know what else to say it's really cheap as well and i just like that it has a cover because it's to prevent any cockroaches from like i don't know like going to my food or something if i ever have food trash i'm gonna deal with the cockroaches soon i'm gonna buy some supplies to sort of stop them from being in the house basically while we're here that is my audio interface that is the focus right solo i mainly use it to power my microphone and it is also a and that's where i plug my headphones or my headset since i plug my speakers to that i just have to plug my headphones there instead which is pretty cool 
Moving on over to the right, I keep my power bank uh, here just in case. This is a 30,000 milliamp battery, or not battery, power bank. Where I live, there's a lot of power outages, so it's important to have a sort of power bank in a way. This also supports fast charging, which is pretty cool for someone like me who needs fast charging because I use my phone a lot. All right, before I move on, below my desk is a cable organizer. I you can't see this in the shot right now. I'll just cut it to a shot, but that's where I keep my cable organizers. Very good. I recommend it if you want to organize your cables. I'm still yet to buy those cable wraps where you wrap your cable around, um, but here's my headphone stand. It's actually behind my whole setup. This is where I keep my headphones. So this is my Audio-Technica headphones. I forgot the model, but these are monitor headphones. So this is where I keep them out of sight so it's clean and yeah that's pretty much it all right so on the left of my desk is this huge plant um, this is a rubber tree a uh, pretty pretty nice plant I recommend if you guys want to buy plants for your house I recommend getting a rubber tree it's really nice and it's in this giant big pot I plan to transfer it out of that pot soon but we will see as it grows and down below we have is my dry cabinet this is where I keep most of my camera gear all of my my stuff that is important to me where I don't want it to catch moisture because well if you're in a humid environment it's important to get a dry cabinet so that your delicates won't break and yep there is my tripod bag I have no idea why I put it there but and on the right of my desk is this mirror I got from this house it's like a really old mirror and no one was using it so I just got it and I don't know it looks pretty nice hello I mainly use this whenever I'm like getting ready or I don't know it's just a nice sort of uh addition to the room. Moving on with the tour is my bed, so let's just, I'm just gonna go for a quick rundown. On the edge of my bed is a Google Home. Hey Google, say hello. I'd love to talk to you. How's your day going? It's going great. I have no friends. So yeah, this is mainly my bed, so this is the sort of frame. I chose a black sort of soft frame, so as you can see, it's a soft material, so it's really nice, it's really comfortable. And what's great about this bed is that it, has a, it actually has drawers. There we go, it has drawers, which is pretty cool. This is mainly where I store my uh, rings and all that, watches, whatever, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh god. Oh, it got stuck. We have gray covers as well as two blankets. One that's white and one that's striped for my pillows. Uh, don't ask me why both colors are not matching. I lost the white cover for my pillow, so I just ended up using the gray one. Here's my special plushie. This is a plushie I got from a very special someone. His name's Pochi. There's my YouTube play button. I don't know where to put that. I I don't want to drill anything, so I'll just put it there. It's just temporary, but yeah. I sleep to it every night and I dream that I will get a million subscribers. That's obviously not gonna happen. Lastly, lastly with the bed tour, there's one more thing that's hidden, which is my lights. Hey Google, turn on my lights. So I set up some Govi lights behind the bed so it has this really nice sort of glow on it and that Govi light over there, it's a room lamp or whatever. It's pretty cool, you can control it by Google. Hey Google, turn off my lights. I mainly use this whenever I'm reading or something or I'm sort of like doing something and I don't want to turn on my lights, so it's just pretty cool. All right, moving on lastly is my cabinets. Uh, as you can see, it's a blue sort of color to it, navy black or whatever. Pretty nice coloring, I would like to say. Um, this is my charger for my camera. This is where I charge my battery for it, but that's, that's pretty much it. So yeah, let's start with the right side, which is my guitar. So I have a Yamaha guitar. I forgot the model name for my Yamaha guitar, but it's really nice acoustic. Uh, let me just give you a demo right now. Yeah, that was me playing, uh, I know I'm pretty bad at it, but this is the door to the balcony, which I will show you guys lastly. But first, let's go to the sort of uh, 
closet area. First, let's start with the left closet, which is mainly my hanging clothes. As you can see, this is kind of where I hang my gray sort of black clothes, and this is where I hang my colored clothes. It's, I know it's, I'm weird like that. But overall, I really like my clothing. Um, I don't really plan to go shopping for clothes anytime soon. I'm pretty happy with sort of my inventory, but maybe one day I'm gonna do like a haul or whatever. I'm not really into hauls. I don't really like buying a lot of things, but if ever I want to do a makeover or whatever, like that that sort of shit, I will do that. Um, as if I don't need a makeover right now because how, how messy my life is. And then if we go over here, uh, I don't know why my bag's here. Well, let me just get that real quick. <laughs> My backpack's supposed to go there, but here is my luggage. So this is my luggage right here. Oh god, it's really dusty, but I really love my luggage. It's really small, it's compact, it's, it has a front pocket for me to put like electronics and all that. But yeah, I really like it. It's really small. If you're gonna stalk me in the airport, this is what it looks like. But yeah, this is my closet for hanging clothes. Moving on, we have is my second uh, closet. So I kind of rearranged it a bit. So these are my folded clothes but in the middle we have my skincare so the reason why I moved it here originally my skincare was going here but I mainly swapped these two because honestly I don't like reaching up for my skincare it's kind of I don't know it's just my, it's really uncomfortable for my arm especially since I have to like take it out like this and I don't want to just reach it up like that it's kind of hard so I put it here instead it's a lower shelf and it's really working out for me so yeah we have the essentials serums moisturizer sunscreen uh, we have lip balm we have tiger balm we have a uh, clay mask moisturizer more moisturizer UV brightening uh, we have lotion over there skin patches all that so we have we even have soap back there that's Kojima I saw my blankets over there and miscellaneous stuff over there don't mind that it's hella messy but yeah that's where I store my miscellaneous stuff and then finally we have my bags I like my tote bags and my other bags I don't know why I put my other bag there but don't question it finally we have the top sort of shelf there I can't reach it right now because it's too high especially since I'm holding the camera right now but essentially I store all of my boxes for my products or all of the stuff that I buy I, I store all of it there it's more like a storage compartment just for my stuff all right lastly for the tour let me just show you the view let me just open my balcony real quick Yeah, it's a really nice view. It's raining right now because I live in a, a place that rains a lot. As you can see, it's a really nice sort of mountainside view with all a lot of plants and it looks down to my neighborhood, which is really nice. So yeah, if you go inside and we will go to the window, as you can see, I really like the view. It's a nice, pleasant view. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining my room tour. I hope you guys like the room. Um, a lot of it is possible thanks to you guys, uh, so I just want to say thank you, thank you so much for watching my videos. Uh, you guys been really, you guys been really awesome so far, and for following my life and all that. But yeah, um, expect more changes to be coming soon. I have lots of more stuff to do. I want to build a PC. I want to do all of that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.